finalists, Dimitri and Josh, and um, just going on recent form, just talking to you just now, it's pretty close between the two of you when you play, isn't it? Yeah, like we just spoke on there, um, we both have really good games, always close, played a lot against each other, so it uh, should be a really good game. Dimitri, I guess you go in, you know, you've got your place booked to Ali Pali and Josh has everything to play for in that sense, that give you a little bit of confidence? Um, to be fair, I'm confident in anyway because of all the hours and all the days I've been uh, practicing on the board and then the last World Series finals, um, it all came out, so my confidence is there, it's just preparation now for the game that we have to play and that's massive for both of us, doesn't matter how, but it is. Yeah, it's an important game, whatever, isn't it, because it's a, it's a, you know, it's a big moment, big occasion and it matters, every step that you take in your career. Yeah, definitely, every step that we make is only good for our future. Uh, we have time on our side, of course, but uh, even when we're young, we yeah. still want to be there and he even won a tournament, the floor tournament yeah. this year, so for a young player, for, for the future, that's very important, very good for your own feeling. Yeah, Josh, that was a huge step, wasn't it? I mean, that, that must have taught you a lot about what you're capable of. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't show away. I've not had the greatest of years uh, beginning of the year. I said earlier, I said from August onwards this year, my game and my practice has really come out on the board and I've had some good results and some bad results, but I've still played well. Yeah. Um, last year was a really good turning point for me. Um, won my first Players' Championship floor mm -hmm. tournament, got me into a lot of things and boosted me up really so I feel confident still I, I never doubt myself so and there is a huge incentive for you tonight isn't there because a place at Ali Pali well that's everything isn't it yeah of course that's what every dark player tries to play in so last year was my first time this year I hope to make it back there so all right okay wish you both the best of luck Josh you. Dimitri good luck thank you Good luck to the pair of them. It is time to find out who will take over from Corey Cadby as the world youth champion. Cadby beaten, by the way, by Josh Payne in the semi-finals, which were held just a few weeks ago. Dimitri's walk-on is always a popular one with the crowd. He is one happy boy. Just watch this. Let's get him out on stage with John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome back to Butlins. Minehead! We are delighted to present the PDC Unicorn World Youth Championship. Would you please welcome our players, ladies and gentlemen from Kent, England, and our Players' Championship winner. Would you please welcome the maximum, George Payne! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, from Antwerp, Belgium. The winner of 10 development tours. Would you please welcome the dream maker, Dimitri van
such a smiley, happy man, isn't he? With some great moves, as is Alan Warren a little, of course. Now, he'll be presenting the trophy to the winner of this best of 11 match, and he's in the commentary box now with Stuart Pike. I won't even try to come close to the dancing moves of our Dimitri. Yeah, dazzling dancing, can he produce some dazzling darts? to be crowned the World Youth Champion, or can Josh Payne, in the biggest match of his life, uh, win and claim a place at the Ali Pali? First to six, best of 11. Uh, some illustrious names have won it in the past. Corey Cadby, as Jackie mentioned, Max Hobb uh, have won it. Keegan Brown, Michael Smith, and the first two winners, Aaron Monk and James Hubbard, who both beat Michael Van Gerwen. Uh, so... A lot at stake, and um, both these two players have put in a lot of work, haven't they, in the, the development tour, Alan, which I know you are very, very keen on promoting, and you do a lot of work in helping uh, the young kids try and make it through the PDC system. Yes, it's all about giving our youth stars a platform to progress their careers by playing in a professional environment and regular high-quality matches, basically getting them used to being a professional darts player. Plenty of incentives here, and of course the title. And both of these players are an absolute credit to our sport and represent development uh, with very high esteem. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, so here we go. Both players have been Game in the on. arena over the last couple of days, just uh, getting used to it, practising together on one of the... The, the boards outside of the, the players' room for hours and hours on end. And will that practice come into play? 91. And will nerves play a big part? It means so much to both of them. Yes, the very best of luck to both of them. 60. Always enjoying watching our young stars of the future, Stuart. The standard that they play at the development to is absolutely incredible. Well, the, the winner of the development tour uh, was Luke Humphreys. He will, I'm sure, will be watching on disappointed. He was beaten by Dimitri in the semi-finals, 6-5, and a dart at the ball to win. I watched that game, it was Ball's incredible. Team. All the crowd was around. Dimitri was 5-4 up, left a double. Luke Humphreys took out 1-4-6 to take it to the last leg. He missed a bull in the last leg. Dimitri was on top, and he managed to take it out in probably one of the best games of the day. Whereas Josh 100. beat the reigning uh, World Youth Champion Corey Cappy, ended Cappy's hopes of qualifying for the World Championship. He was 5 0 up in that semi final, eventually won 6 3, didn't he? 140. Visit by Dimitri. Good start from the Belgian youngster. 44. He's also in a good stable, Dimitri isn't he, Dimitri? With, with uh, Mark Elkin. And the two Hybrex brothers, Ella Klassen. Kim Hybrex. Yeah. Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson. He's yeah. in there too. And they're, up, they're here to support him, which is lovely to see. Yeah. Tops for Dimitri to go one up. 38. Real tension. Not surprised. Josh Payne, as he mentioned, made his world championship debut uh, last year. Dimitri required 40. But Dimitri does have a lot more experience of the big stage. Games on the first and that will settle him down. Convincing opening leg for the Belgium. Yes, for the youth, it's. Incredible the amount of experience that both these players do have. But Josh Payne has won a players' championship, and everybody knows how hard they are to win. Played in the Grand Slams, played in the Worlds. Dimitri, as we know, yeah. he's been on a few TV events, especially recently. Josh put Payne. up good performances. Josh Payne beat James Wade in that final some 18 months ago. Well, we saw Dimitri, didn't he? He reached the quarter-finals of the World 100. Series in Glasgow. Beat Michael Smith, beat Raymond Van Barnevel, eventually lost 10-6 uh, in the quarter-finals to James Wade, but again, showing what he's capable of. Dimitri has already qualified 
for the World Championship. It was all about the title and the prestige of winning the PDC Unicorn World Youth Championship. Much more at stake, you would say, for Josh. 140. Well, the incentives are secondary. Yeah. It's winning the title, that's what they're up there on the stage for. He's aware, though, of what it means. I'm, I'm, you know, it has to be, because a, a World Championship spot. 83. If Josh Payne doesn't win, it opens the door for one other player, of course. It's the, the PDPA, the Darts Players Association World Championship qualifiers taking place in Milton Keynes tomorrow. As it stands, two players from those qualifiers will earn a spot at the World Championship. But if Josh Payne doesn't win here, there will be a third place up for Joshua grabs tomorrow. So, chance for Payne here. He has to take Number 18. Well, oh, that's unlucky. Can't really go for the triple 18 in the last start. Interesting for Vandenberg. Interesting choice here. He normally splits this. He normally goes six for double 16. So let's see what he does. 92. That was a gamble. It was as well. <laughs> Straight for it or six for double 16. It was six for double 16. And that's why he splits it. Dimitri Vandenberg. Cool as you like for Dimitri. Knew exactly what he was doing. Six and double 16. That's his chosen route, but that was coolness personified. And if you watch his body language as well, he's obviously very nervous and he's got every right to be, but he keeps himself together so well. You just see him working hard. Inside, keeping himself calm, trying to do his work, as Josh's as well. 57. Development is all about progression, progressing yeah. you to being a professional player. So many good players now, and I'm sure we'll see them in a few years' time on the big TV events. This will be really frustrating for Josh Payne because he has been practicing away and throwing some really, really good darts as well. This is better. That's a lot, lot better. He's in the final now. Yes, he'll feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Can he pressurise Vandenberg, though, on his throw, the Belgium? 99. Needs to follow up the maximum with a good score. Try and leave himself a decent finish. Seems to have found his range now. Well, he can't afford to move around the board. He needs to stay on the 20 area. 100. Otherwise, he may not have left a finish. Took a bit of a gamble as well there, going for the treble. But he has left a finish. Oh, that could make a difference. That's unlucky Joshua for, for Vandenberg. But certainly a bit of luck here for, for Josh Payne, a 23-year-old from Kent. 80. Dimitri, you require 146. Two trouble 19s is the target. So now it's just about the setup. Josh Payne will be concentrating, and focusing 84. on 84 to get him up and running. 14 or the treble? Is it the treble? So it's double 11. Game oh, wonderful finish from Josh, Josh Payne. That's what he can do. Well, how's that turn the final round? The 180, leg, brilliant 84 finish. And he has broken back. So 2 1 to the Belgium. Game the Englishman on. here with a chance to level up the world youth final. Yeah, and we have to also remember, Stuart, that they have played on the big stages on quite a few occasions, not just a TV event, but the European tours as well in front of the big crowds. So. They will have some nerves, but they are used to playing in these kind of arenas. 140. Yeah, good darts from the Belgium. Different matter, though, isn't it? It's a World Championship final. Yeah. This is the big one. 82. 200,000 pounds a year on the development tour. 50,000. The World Youth Championships in total prize money. 139. Van der Berg here averaging 102. That is fantastic. 
76. Yes, I think his tournament average in Glasgow was over 100, wasn't it? Played fantastic. I think two quality players as well. Yep. Michael Smith and Bam Barnevelt. Ran James Wade very close. Good player, big future. 140. Just so much character as well. I love to see these young players not just playing well, but having a bit of character. 85. Well, that's a, a disappointing dart for Josh Payne because he hasn't left himself a finish. A single five ruling him out of the equation, you would think. Tops for Vandenberg. 42. Oh, he will return. Oh, Payne took the last leg against the dart, but he's not managed 71. to make Dimitri any notes on throw to hopefully level with Dimitri. This is the double that got him to this Games final. On the Dimitri Vandenberg. The same one that puts him 3 1 ahead. Dimitri to the first. Game on. The development tour really has opened the door to to a lot of youngsters. I mean, some pretty young as well. 14, 15, 16 to give themselves a, a shot at, at playing in a in a big darts tournament over 100. 10 weekends in a year. Well, we have a lot. On the under 16, play a lot on the JDC, which is the undercard really to development to it. 140. 103 average, Dimitri Vandenberg in a world championship final. It was felt from that opening leg that Josh Payne was playing catch up. Yeah, Dimitri's obviously had a lot of stage experience in the recent months. Not just the experience, but winning experience as well. It has to count for something. Well, this is an outstanding performance Dimitri, you of an outstanding young man, Dimitri Vandenberg. Stick on for 20. To leave his favourite. After 12 darts again. Yeah, it's been a marvellous performance so far, from Josh's point of view. Dimitri, you require 40. He really needs to start finding his range on the big scoring to fight his way back into this match. Vandenberg tops for 4-1. 13 Vandenberg. data. At the moment, like there is only Bears one winner off. of this World Youth Championship. Dimitri Vandenberg averaging 20 points more than his opponent. 96. He is running very hot. What dreams are made of for the man they call the dream maker, Dimitri Vandenberg of Belgium, who's got a huge future 99. ahead of him. He's going to be a star, I can assure you. He's got the moves, he's got the game. That's the second maximum of the match, both of which have gone to Josh Payne. Needs to be a bit more consistent throughout the legs. Obviously, in a good position in this one at the moment. Fifty-eight. You are just tuning in Sunday night at the Players' Championship Finals. This is the World Youth Championship 58. Final. Between England's Josh Payne and Belgium's Dimitri van der Berg. First to six to win the prestigious title. Coming up after this, we will have the Players' Championship final between the defending champion and world number Joshua one Michael van Gerwen and the total outsider, the Welshman Johnny Clayton. That's coming up soon 59. here on ITV4. Travels eluding Payne. So there's a chance for Dimitri to put that 108 100. under pressure, and when you Joshua fall one down, things are a little bit more difficult to hit. 
Double 16. Oh, Coach wonderful. The sixth leg. Top page. Yep, as cool as you like. Dimitri to the first game on. With the third leg, he hit a brilliant 180 and followed it up with that an 84 checkout. And he followed the maximum with 108 there, so 78. just giving Dimitri a tap on the shoulder. Yeah, because Van der Berg had the darts in the first leg, Payne still has to find two more breaks of throw. Oh, this is the big leg for me, really is. 100. After a maximum and a good finish, he's really got to attack the Vandenberg throw. Dimitri has been relentless when throwing first. 137. There we go again. Two big trebles. One hundred. The slow start may be costly here for Josh. Dimitri is very much in the zone. He really is. Eight one forties. Fantastic scoring. Yeah, no maximum, but like I say, eight one forties, eight tumples finishes. One hundred and forty. Josh is just Dimitri showing some signs here. He's fighting away. 16 the Game brilliant darts of Dimitri Vandenberg how about a that a 146 finish on. to put him on the verge of world championship glory absolutely brilliant young man 59 outstanding just seeing body language there just still trying to keep himself calm Five out of seven on the doubles, Alan. Yeah. And an average of 105 for Dimitri Vandenberg. 100. Yeah. Yeah. You can see from his body language, he knows he's almost there, but he's got to keep himself calm because this lad, Josh Payne, is a quality player. He really is. 100. Is it two maximums, Josh? But just some of the other scoring has let him down. You've got to say, Vandenberg had just been too good. This is a spectacular performance. 41. One or two nerves, I'm sure, with him being so close. 140. Still fighting away. Looking good in this leg. Thinking about the finishing line, isn't he? Well, he's normally pretty good at keeping 50. himself together. Just certainly lost a little bit of the lie there. 100. Josh knows he cannot afford to make any more mistakes or it'll be all over. We'd have two darts at double, Josh Payne. He's hit them both. This is more like it from Dimitri. 140, just 140s, incredibly consistent scoring. Double 16 for another fantastic finish for Josh Payne. 70. It was and close. look at his left. Yeah. 170. Oh, this would really put the icing on the cake. Yeah. Two trouble 19s would have left double 18. 42. So another chance for well, Josh. Game Nicely done. The eighth leg. Josh Payne, ninth leg, Dimitri to the first. Game on. So is this the moment for Dimitri Vandenberg? Fifty-eight. This is when he's got to try to control the adrenaline, the nerves. He's under pressure. And Josh Payne is going to pile on the pressure and maybe a bit of pain as well. Yeah, Josh Payne still looks pretty focused. Great second dart. 80. Slipping with the third one, though. Josh Payne has effectively got in front on the throw. 100. In a good position. 100. That's more like it. That's more like it. 77. Wow.
incredible maturity. Vandenberg. 100. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic from Dimitri Vandenberg. 150. <laughs> Josh McGuire, a 177. And a 150. Oh, nearly the trouble 17. So after six fabulous starts from Dimitri, Dimitri Vandenberg, he needs double 18. One more to go. Game yes, game. it is! Dimitri Vandenberg is crowned the world youth champion. The Belgium, the dream maker, fulfills a dream with an average of 101. The best average in the history of this tournament. He is the PDC Unicorn World Youth Champion and thoroughly deserves. Absolutely brilliant from Josh Payne, but tonight belongs to Dimitri Vandenberg. He's got the moves, he's got the trophy. Absolutely brilliant from Dimitri. He is the World Youth Champion.